The U.S. policy of strategic patience with the DPRK is over. Those words according to U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, who is in South Korea on the first leg of a four-nation tour to Asia. With escalated tensions on the Korean Peninsula, the vice president signaled that the Trump administration will not tolerate a nuclear DPRK. The United States and our allies have stood together for a denuclearized Korean Peninsula. We hope to achieve this objective through peaceful means, but all options are on the table. Just in the past two weeks, the world witnessed the strength and resolve of our new president in actions taken in Syria and Afghanistan. North Korea would do well not to test his resolve. The vice president also reaffirmed his country's alliance with South Korea. With Seoul under an interim leadership, there had been concern that the U.S. could conduct a preemptive strike on the DPRK without consulting South Korean officials. The alliance between South Korea and the United States is the linchpin of peace and security on the Korean Peninsula and indeed throughout the Asian Pacific. The United States commitment to South Korea is ironclad and immutable. During his meeting with South Korea's acting president, Hwang kyo wan the two discussed ongoing plans to deploy the controversial THAAD anti-missile defense system. As long as the DPRK continues to develop its ballistic missile technology, the two allies confirming THAAD's installation despite opposition from neighboring countries like China and Russia. We have agreed to further strengthen the readiness posture of the ROK-US alliance in response to the DPRK's growing threat by ensuring the early deployment and operation of the USFK's THAAD system. From here, Mr. Pence travels to Tokyo for meetings with Japanese officials. Now, over the past two months, U.S. President Donald Trump has sent his defense chief, his secretary of state, and now his vice president to South Korea and Japan, showing that the Trump administration remains committed to its allies in this volatile yet strategically important region. Shane Hom, CGTN, Seoul.